You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Mother Nature definitely has to figure out what her game plan is. Because it is beautiful. It's t-shirt weather right now. I don't know if it's... It might be low 50s. It's supposed to be a low of 19 tomorrow night. And rain. So, yeah. Rain all Saturday. So, it's Friday today. Welcome back to the channel. We got the... Fill door in. We got a weld from the inside out on the edges, on the side edges. Uh, this is looking good. And where we ended up last night, cut the excess length out of the top side of the swivel. Got this in there. We got to clean all this up and then make sure it's straight. Otherwise, it's going to have a wobble and things are not going to be good. But we'll dive right into that, clean it up, get it welded on there. Should be able to get this up on there and then from there it's really not that much really no more fabrication other than poking a hole through and buttoning up little stuff so appreciate you guys watching though and let's uh let's get this done that is on there okay get it cleaned up get that one cleaned up this will take a little bit of uh time to get it lined up perfectly then we'll have to cut out what excess because yeah i didn't do this as professional as some people could have Oh yeah. You just gotta make sure it's straight. Yep. Got it all measured off this plate, so hopefully we're straight on that plate. So everything is measured. Um, we should be straight there. If we're not, we're gonna have a weird little wobble when it turns. It'll be box. Alrighty, it's tacked on the corners. Uh, top and bottom right now so we'll weld it up and clean it up I'm gonna have to notch this off because I'm learning as I go Some days I got it, like that. We're doing good. Got the outside all welded up. There we go. When the prep works a little more into it, it does weld a lot nicer. But inside, I plasma cut it a wedge in. We're gonna fill it, then we'll grind it flush. Um, Theoretically, we don't have to do that. I have, I'm confident on the other side, but not a bad thing to make sure it's all nice, smooth, sealed, good looking. So I'll sit it down on the ground and burn around it. That'll do. That will definitely do. Okay. Had to fill a little gap or where it burned a little hole, must it. Well, that's looking good. We got to throw this um well sprocket gear up there i guess it's gear and that's what actually makes it all turn so we gotta see if we got enough uh silicone and then we'll have to figure out how to pick this up this is pretty heavy uh, it's definitely pretty heavy i don't know i don't know of course we run out of silicone um 
sealer. Yeah. So we got three more, two more joints after that one. So three. You coming? We gotta go. Oh, I guess we gotta move the tractor. Yep. I didn't think this out. So we'll run down to the hardware store and uh, grab two tubes of that. Really, we'll probably just grab one. I'm trying to think if we need anything else. We need some bolts, but they don't have that. We're going to the lumber yard. I figure they gotta have silicone at the lumber yard, sealing doors and windows. I would figure. Alrighty. Swung down the road. Jumps right lumber. I really don't go to the lumber place very much, but we're usually not building houses. Actually, we're never building that sort of stuff. But swung down here. Um, I got a paintbrush. I remembered that uh, I got two gallons of uh, some stuff that we're gonna use to actually paint it, the tank. So, well, uh, when I get back, I'll show you what I got. I'm sure some, I'm sure most of you already know um, what the best stuff is or what's really good stuff. So, I was gonna use it on the frame of my pickup, but then uh, a buddy who does a lot of paint, frame painting and stuff like that said, nope use flat rust-oleum on the frame of your pickup so he says that that will come out looking like a factory look so that's what we did but alrighty just like two miles down the road we'll jump back put that uh, upper side of the swivel on and then that boom will go on and we'll see what it actually looks like paintbrush some pour 15 so I got two gallons of it like I said, I originally got it for uh, doing my pickup for the frame, but we will use it on this. So we'll paint that um, basin where it connects and everything else like that. Then we got quite a bit more to paint, so that stuff should work pretty good. I got all the metal prep stuff too somewhere. I'd have to go find it. Well, even though there is an O-ring seal around, there's an O-ring, a giant O-ring. It's always good to have extra sealing. Okay. Yep. So from there, I got the stuff that matters pulled back up. All this on the outside is not as much, but the middle. I gotta figure out how to pick that up. That's gonna be the battle. Not the sketchiest thing I've done lately.
wrong tool for the job. But we're this far along. Thought about trying to get under the forks, but I want it sta stabilized. I think once it's there, I'll be able to balance it some, but. Yeah. One's in. Put that on for safety. Freaking grease everywhere. Take these gloves off. Killing the gloves. Woo! stop recording alrighty we are on we didn't die I did lift it up put more silicone around it Whew. gotta tighten those down we are a lot higher than I thought we were gonna be so this is our pipe coming out well our pipe will be here I measured this to the very top is 10 foot uh, 4 inches so it's not like we're we're really tall but I do wish, we're probably gonna put rubber around the top of that, uh, make it easier to fill. But this is on, I got all the bolts to actually run around this. So we'll clean this up and then I gotta figure out how we're getting that pipe on. I might have to back this out to get that on. I don't, no way I can do that by myself. But once that's on, then we can figure out with the aluminum pipe where we wanna be. And then we'll cut that aluminum pipe and slide that in. We got to build a bracket for that. But from here, our next fab job really is we got to build the bracket around here. And the, it will probably come off, get braced to this, and come off and get braced to the corner. Um, and that helps keep this swivel from destroying everything inside of here. So there's uh, O rings and seals inside there that, as you see, grease daily. To make it so it doesn't leak out of there that's the whole swivel part but hopefully there isn't a stop in here oh the bolts hitting down there duh that's so that's gonna get tightened up but alrighty I want to go measure the other tank and just compare so this is 10 10 4 to there the fill spouts probably four inches below that so probably 10 foot um, but we'll walk over and do that. Yep. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, maybe. Maybe we'll do some cleaning. So on this, well, we got the nurse boom off. But you can see this nurse boom sits up. Good solid six inches over the fill. That fill should have been taller. Yes, I don't know if you can see anything with this. <laughs> but. Okay. Um. So the top is like 11.2, 11.4, and the fill is like 10.6. So I figure that one over there is like 10, 
might be 10 might be a little less so we're actually we're actually okay there um so okay well since we're over here it is dirty still still gotta wash it so this is a six inch pump and as you see everything's just smaller but this is the valve that actually switches between going up to nurse and going over to spread um so that whole setup is much 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 more built than this setup um much more robust and definitely should be able to pump some manure a lot quicker so at the end of the day uh efficiency is all about how much manure you can get out yeah gallons per minute for like dragline people gallons per hour so for tanker people gallons per minute doesn't work for us but like dragline people they can get out 4,000 5,000 gallons per minute this is ridiculous because well that's a 5400 and that's a 52 it's technically a, a five but it has uh, 200 gallons worth of expansion inside of it because it's all in fuel so when we fill it full it will be five or 52 um, yeah so every trip I do what some of the drag line guys can do in a minute granted I got quite a lot less involved and you couldn't drag line around here but it's still yeah there's millions and millions of dollars invested in hauling manure for a lot of people we're out here trying to ball on a budget so that is actually going to be pretty slick and the good thing about that is I will be able to um I'm just thinking yeah I'll be able to see it much better out of my mirror when I when I'm driving that way you know it's all the way down because it's awkward if you start getting busy with a phone call and you forget to put it all the way down so I'll get those tightened up before I forget and then we'll get on to the next thing got a little nervous thought I was going on a service call but um my co-workers going I'm never actually on call but I'm always on call it's kind of one of them deals oh uh, yeah transformer but they're still milking cows but I said yeah you don't know when that might actually fail so completely so at least we're halfway decent there but alrighty I'm gonna build that bracket first and I'm not really sure what I'm gonna build that bracket out of um ooh, we do have some sections of 10 left maybe or 12 inch pipe we got two do we have more because I got to wrap something around there and weld a bracket so that they can bolt together so little fab work but then that will be the last of the major fab work so that will be good so I had this grand idea that I was gonna take that 12 inch pipe that we cut off cut it in half and bend it around the pipe yeah that sounded like a horrible time. So I end up cutting notches. And as you see, from here to here, it's real snug. So I got two of them cutting notches and bending it down. I got two of them built. So we just got to couple them together around a pipe. We'll have to cut some. Um, I haven't... We got to drill some uh, grease fittings in it. So I guess I better get... I got a box of grease fittings out here. Yeah. Somebody did say that I really got to organize my stuff already. I'm literally in the middle of a project. I come here usually at uh, four or five o'clock at night and I work till nine or 10 at night, most, some nights. Um, so by the time I'm done, I'm not gonna walk around and organize a little scrap. We'll do that. Like tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day being Saturday. If we run out of stuff to do on this, maybe we'll clean up some more and get the planner backed into here and opened up so we can start fabbing on that. But yeah, that's that was the point of this is so I could have projects halfway done, stuff up, stuff all screwing or thrown around. But I know what everything is and where it is. So let's see on some grease fittings. Okay. Come on. There's one. 
That seemed a little looser than I should have, but I did tap it right. I'm putting metric ones in because that's all I got for uh, taps. So we'll do, uh, I think I'll do two more on this and then probably one on that one because I'm going to actually weld onto that one the bracket. Here's my thought. In a perfect world, you have this so it can unbolt and come out of it. Um, so that if you have a swivel fail, you can get to it. But these, these two brackets move up and down. So if we had the swivel fail, you could unbolt the top and bottom of it and slide it out. You might have to move this bracket to lift it a little bit, but I'm thinking I am gonna weld these two pieces together. That way it's sturdy all the way around. Instead of building a bracket that comes out and bolts to the other one. Well, uh, yeah, do something like that. That is the straightest line that you've ever seen, I know. And then weld this to the tank and then weld it to here. So we'll have to do a little bit of fab work, but nothing too crazy. Um, and that's just going to brace this top so it doesn't wobble around when the boom's out and everything else. Mainly when it's like out to the side. We're going towards the back over here. So that will actually work pretty well. So, but we'll cut that and then we'll cut that one so that they meet up around a eight inch pipe. Okay, I hated the idea of uh, welding all the way around it, to be honest, because there was no way to tighten it up. So I'm glad uh, you guys are probably already writing in the comments, do not weld it all the way. So, Welded some tabs onto it. We'll cut some, probably just two holes on each side. Um, and that way we can tighten it up. There'll be a gap between it. So one done. So I struggled with wrapping my head around how I was gonna do this. But this is what I came up with. So I gotta trim this one a little bit, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking just one, one bolt through right in the middle on each side. And then all these grease fittings allow you to actually, well now they're loose, we gotta actually tighten them. Uh, grease up that. And then I got that bar that goes from there back to the tank. We gotta clean up those welds. And I'm almost thinking a bar going from there down just to help reinforce it. I do got some bars. So yeah, that, that's gonna work. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever done. This bracket up here can move down so it actually squeezes them together. But, yeah. There we go. So that's on. Got a bolt in the side. Still rotates. We gotta lube it up though. Probably run it back. Quit a few times. Yeah. So that's definitely not perfect, but uh I'm gonna say that was pretty good for not knowing what I'm doing there. Had a good phone call with Dylan uh, from DC Fab, Dylan Clark, who came out and helped me with all this base. Um, pretty much got me to a very good spot as far as up to there. We lined that up really, really nice. It looks so far. And he said, hey, you need a second brace that comes across here because that's gonna take a lot of your weight. So I was like, all right. So, I figured I'd just m mark that up there. That pipe is actually junk. It's split down the middle. It came off the trailer. But that way, my three lights are still visible as far as symbolizing a trailer. Um, that's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Okay. See you later, bud. Hey. <laughs> He's ready for bed. It's just about 8.30, I think. So we've been at it for a good good period today. Um, got a bunch done. Getting that on was a big win. But tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is Saturday. And we're supposed to get, there's a storm coming in. And everybody's writing comments that you're going to get hammered with snow. I don't think we're actually supposed to get any snow. It stops before it gets to us. Um, the guys in New York are expecting 10 to like 18 inches. 
I think we're just gonna get rain and rain and rain, which is okay because we have this now. So we can work on this inside this cover, which is sweet because previously on rainy days, either I was gonna work outside and get soaked or we were not gonna work at all. So yeah, cause we got some, we got welding to do in the tank. We gotta figure out where that boom's gonna go. So we gotta get the boom on. We do have the quick hitch we could put together and throw the arms on the back of the 7520 cause we could do all that. That would be good. Um, but that looks good. I like that. We're still gonna brace from there down, but I'm gonna get out of here. It's late enough that I'm pretty freaking hungry already. Um, Nico's, Nico's ready for food. So appreciate you guys watching. Another good day of fabrication. I wish I had like having a day job is a priority right now. Um, one, I enjoy my day job. Two, it's financially good. Three, health insurance, things like that. Um, and it allows me to grow. It's flexible. So I really do enjoy what I do for a day job. Um, but it, it does mean it's my day job. So projects like this, I only get so much time in the day. Granted, today was a good day. Uh, got what I needed done and then got home and was able to put some hours in on this. But weekends is really when I can shine on some stuff. So, alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. Stop rambling. Appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, being part of the channel, hitting the Duffy Ag merch store. Um, yeah, summertime's coming. We got white t-shirts in stock. Come on. I like the white actually. But. Alrighty, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.